the journey with Mina has been a roller coaster ride. We were able to encourage Mina to slowly but surely create some semblance of a new life. Back last year, we recorded our Doctor Who subscriber special. During the day, I was also helped out on the interviewing front by Mark Patterson. Can you tell us more about the Doctor's involvement in this adventure? It's quite a dark journey for the character, really. You get much more into the character's head, into the Doctor's head on audio. On television, it's visual, and you can't really get into his head. A few years ago, a group of small voluntary organisations approached the London Housing Foundation with a common problem. They had HR issues, but didn't have the capacity or the knowledge to deal with them. I've, I've not seen it around town before. It's something that you know, you'd know you expect to see in, uh, I don't know, London really, or some, somewhere bigger than Manchester. Meanwhile, I still seem to be talking to Mark. John said to me that he felt that this commander of this scientific unit, he said he's the Dalek who wears the silver knuckle dusters. He's like really desperately unpleasant. So I'm really sort of having a go at her, you know. What? 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 She's had a very hard life, Mark. I mean, she gives the outward appearance that she's quite a tough cookie, but she's not. Even if you have all the disadvantages, just through sheer grit and determination, you can succeed. Ah.